I'm Tara Reeves here with Rakeem Nunez Roches, senior defensive tackle. Thanks for being with us, Rakeem. No problem. Now, as a senior, you've been through three different head coaches the past three years with Fedora and then Johnson and then now Coach Munkin. And with Coach Munkin coming back again this season, what is that consistency going to do for the team? I mean, it's always good, you know, being with somebody you're comfortable with instead of going through multiple changes. So having him is it's good, it's like basically having somebody at home now instead of having all these changes. But, I mean, now we're familiar with what's going on. Now new offense, same offense coming back, same defense. So we can get better at what we're doing instead of learning something new. And you also have the defensive coordinator, Coach Duggan, coming back from freshman year. What does he have you focusing on? Um, every day he's saying, you know, get off the ball, ball get off, I read on the O-line, on the running back. He said take advantage of the film, so everything that they're giving us used to our advantage. And as a leader, you've obviously had a couple of challenging seasons the past couple of years. How do you keep the energy positive in the locker room and on the field? Uh, that's difficult. I mean, I understand, you know, being at its lowest, that, that was being uh, sitting out for a whole year, that was hard for me. But coming back, now I see the opportunity and I know how easily it can be taken away, so I, I really don't take it for granted now. Like you said, with your injury um, coming back on the field, what is it like for you to have that opportunity again to play? I mean, it feels great. It feels like I'm being born again, but also I bring, you know, a whole new me to the field. And you're actually known for supporting Southern Miss, like other sports, basketball, soccer, volleyball. What does that support system mean to you? I mean, it means a lot because when we're out there playing, when we're between the lines, they're out there supporting us, so why can't we give them the same respect? I love them just like they love me. And your major is biological sciences. What do you plan to do with that when you graduate? Uh, once I graduate, I plan to apply for uh, University of Georgia Veterinary Medicine, and I plan to be a vet. How long have you wanted to be a vet? <sighs> Since I was like six. <laughs> do you have a passion for animals? Oh, yes, ma'am. I actually train dogs, and I train various animals. I have like eight dogs since I've been in Southern. Wow. Yeah. So that's sort of like a calm side that we don't see when you're out there competing on the field. Yes, ma'am. And what has been your most embarrassing moment here at USM? Honestly, my first time I ever stepped on the field against La Tech my freshman year. I got pancaked by three people in front of all my family. That was like the most embarrassing thing I ever had happen to me. That's funny. <laughs> what did they say to you after the game? Uh, <laughs> how the lights look. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was pretty embarrassed, but it was fun at the same time. So how do you plan to leave your mark here at USM? Uh, honestly, I, I plan, you know, to bring the nasty bunch back, but on and off the field, I also do things. I have a homeless drive come around Thanksgiving, so I hope that also continues when I leave. How do you get support for the homeless drive? What is that? Um, it, it's, it's really I, I get, you know, non-perishable items I put in the book bag, and I go out and I find the homeless, so I go to the, the Salvation Army, I give them out. But, Everybody on my team just supports me because they understand everything that I put into it and how I feel about it. What gave you the heart for that? Um, I, I've been in situations where I've been homeless, so just to, you know, have that love and understanding where they're coming from, you know, never knowing where your next meal coming from and being where I'm at, being able to give back, it just means a lot. Wow, did you ever think that this was going to be your story here, playing for a D1 school and getting a college education? No, man. Honestly, I thought I'd never make it this far when it comes to football. Well, congratulations, Rakeem. Thanks for joining us. Yes, ma'am.